Hello all and welcome to the latest Craft Mania Sunday Showcase. Today I have 10 brand new dies to share with you and the best bit about them is they're all half price. So they're really cheap and new and I think you're going to love them. We're going to start off by looking at 6 creator card dies and then I'm going to show you 4 different sets of smaller dies which you can use to accent your creator card dies. So we're going to start off at this end. Uh, these are all normally $19.99 by the way, but they're reduced to just $9.99. So for a creator card die, you, if you've watched these videos before, you're going to know this is silly money. We've never managed to bring you dies this big, this cheap before. So I think this is one of them times you're really going to fall in love with them and part with your pennies. So I apologise in advance. Uh, the first one we're going to look at is a 6x6 six six square. That's our snowflake design. And I love how intricate this is. If you look at all of this work in here, they're all cut lines. So that means you're going to get some really lovely designs cut out of this. I'll of course show you some examples soon and you'll see just how delicate that one is. But it's one of my favourites. Moving on, we have another 6x6 six six one. This is our reindeer in the woods. Again, really delicate. All of this cuts out as beautiful holly and berries. And then we have our lovely woodland scene in the middle. And again, $9.99, 6 by 6 beautiful die. The next two are slightly more confusing because they both feature a sleigh and reindeer and Santa combo. So for this reason, we're going to call this one the small one and this one the large one. That doesn't mean the dies are at all different sizes. They're both the same size. It's just the size of the sleigh and reindeer uh, combo. So on this one is a small slam reindeer and it comes with this really lovely little village scene with our lovely church at the end here. And then this one has a more zoomed out look at a village or town scene with a larger slam reindeer across the top of it. So small and large. We then have one which is just really nice ornate work around this bubble wording in the middle of which says Happy Christmas. We then have a Merry Christmas version, and you'll notice here that the designs are different. This one features quite a lot of holly and berries in it as well. Really beautiful to work with. Now, before we move on to showing you the four smaller designs that you can use for them, I just wanted to explain to you a little bit what a create a card die actually means. So what it means basically is we have a large format die, and if you're used to working with dies, you'll know that they have their cut blades, which is the raised part of them. On this one, for instance, it will cut out all the bits in the middle, but you'll notice there isn't a cut blade around the edge. So if we cut this into a sheet of card, it means it will stay in the card. It will actually exist on the card. It won't fall out as a freestanding item, which is brilliant because it means there's so many different techniques we can do with them. But if you do wish to trim it out, then of course you can just take a knife or a guillotine and remove around the edge. If that was all gobbledygook and made no sense at all, don't worry, I'll be able to explain more of that as I show you some of my samples shortly. But we're now we'll move on and I'll show you the four designs of the smaller die sets. So these ones should be $12.99, but this week they're reduced to only £6.50 a set. So this is just silly money, really. Uh, in this set alone, you get five dies. They're large dies, if you look at the size of them. Uh, so five of them for just £6.50 is just silly, silly, silly money, to be honest. We're starting off by looking at our snow globe set. So for that price, you're going to get the actual outer snow globe. You've then got a background panel. So if you, instead of using the pieces that go on top of it, you wanted to stamp your own things maybe or use some pixie powders and decorate them you certainly could and then we have different elements to sit in front of it so we've got mountains a little village scene and then santa and some trees and some reindeers now the good bit with this die as well is that if you want to you can just snip off the sleigh and reindeers and use that as its own little die instead or of course you could just pop that in your snow globe with a sentiment maybe the good bit with this set is after Christmas, you could of course use this for many different things as well. It doesn't have to just be a Christmas snow globe. There's many occasions we use snow globes, so why not pop something else in there as well? Really good set to get your hands on. Also worth mentioning that all of the four smaller sets come on magnetic sheets. So the moment you buy them, they're ready to go. There's no glue on them at all. You can just lift them off and um, off you go. And of course the magnetic side of it 
why not stick this onto a notice board or on the side of a bookcase in your craft room or even on the inside of a lid of your shoebox if you keep them in a shoebox wherever you want to and then these are ready to use the moment you want to use them and the magnets included in the packet free of charge so again you're getting your five dies and your magnet for just six pound fifty silly silly money Moving on, we have our Christmas trees. So in this set, we're getting four different Christmas trees, a tiny little present, and then a little bag of presents with one popping out the top. So this is them cut out just to give you an idea. To be honest, £6.50, again, is just really silly. We'd sell you one die normally of a Christmas tree for that. So in this set, you're getting three different large trees. You also get the small tree. Now, this is a bit like the Creator Card dies in the fact that the die actually stays in the card. If you have a little look at this small Christmas tree one in here, you may just about be able to see there's no blades around the edge of it. So that, again, like the creator card dies, means that it'll cut these details in place, but it'll actually stay in the card. So it, this was on an A4 sheet, and I've just cut it down to a little rectangle for you to see it. But of course, you could do many different things with these. You could even line them up and have a little row of trees cut out the front of your card or in the front of a stepper card, maybe. The options are endless, but it's a quite a cute little tree to work with. I've made this little tag here just to show you how simple it could be to use. And then you could just write your message on the back of it to who it's going to. So really nice to work with those ones. The next set, again, is just unbelievable value. In this set, you get nine different stars and snowflakes for £6.50. So that's obviously less than a pound a die, which is just silly, silly money. But they're beautiful dies to work with. Really, really delicate, again, like this one and the little ones. And they stack beautifully. So if you do want to stack them up and foam pad them together or make a little display of them, why not? There's so much you could do with that set. It's a beautiful set to work with. Then lastly, we have our Stag and Reindeer set. Again, only £6.50. This one gives you five different dies. I think my favourite is the little reindeer in the woods. Uh, cuts out really beautifully and just looks stunning and of course if you wanted to you could use this in other ways after Christmas as well We then of course have the large reindeer that isn't on my sample sheet But you'll see that on some of my cards and then we have the heads And the different profiles as well and even our little sort of reindeer mid-flight with his legs tucked up So again if you wanted to create your own sort of sleigh and reindeer scene on a larger format You certainly could with that one as well so they're your £6.49 sets. So let's show you a few cards and things I've made with them, hopefully to give you a few ideas. Now I warn you today, I had an awful lot of dies to play with, as you can see, a whole different 10 things and lots of different elements. So I've tried to keep my cards quite simple today, just so I could show you all of them cut out in some form or another. But of course, with all of these, you could really dress them up if you wanted to. Or of course, you can keep them simple. I always feel with Christmas, we have quite a few people we have to send cards to that we might not want to do quite so much work. Or if you're going to be selling them, for instance, at craft fairs, again, we want it to look like we've put a lot of effort in, spent a lot of time on it, when sometimes we just don't have that time to spare. So these dies are going to give you that really luxurious look, hopefully without too much effort. So with that in mind, I want to show you this one to begin with. This is just a really simple all white card. And this is using a Happy Christmas die. And uh, I've just cut it out a white card. Uh, all of the different layers are white. Then on the side here, I've used our uh, stacking snowflakes from our 649 sets. And then, of course, we've got a large reindeer out of the 649 set as well. And then I've just glittered over the Happy Christmas using our ultra fine vintage glitter. Although I call it ultra fine, it's actually a bit of a lie. It's got all different size particles in it, so it gives you sort of a really nice glitzy effect. It's um, the frosted sparkle one in that one, and it does give you a really lovely look to it. Moving on, I wanted to show you, this is the same die used again, but this time I've just cut out the Happy Christmas. So I would always like to do this, if, we, if you're gonna buy a product, it's nice that you can get more than one use out of it. And a couple of the dies from today's video feature this same sort of ability, in the fact that if you do just cut out the Happy Christmas from the middle of this, it makes a really nice just everyday background, just a really ornate swirly background. And I think it'd be a lovely one for weddings and bits like that as well. So, you know, forget the Christmas aspect, buy this one and use it all year round. It's just a really beautiful one to work with. So that's how that card's made, just simply cut out, layered up, a few flowers and butterflies and you're done. But there's just really just as a, a simple idea to show you how you could be using that all year instead of just for Christmas. 
So let's move on to your next one. This time we're going to look at the 6x6 one. This is the reindeer in the woods. So this time I've just cut it out of silver mirror board and backed it on some green card. And then down the front here we have the large reindeer again from the 649 set. And then interestingly, this is the Merry Christmas that comes out of the middle of the Merry Christmas creator card. Like I was just chatting to you about cutting the Happy Christmas out of this one. On one of my other cards, I've cut the Merry Christmas out for a different reason. And I didn't want it to go to waste, so I thought I'd use it on here. So I've just stuck it on the front of this one. And again, it's a good way to show you that you're getting more value for money out of these than just one die. To be honest, you could quite easily pay five or six quid for a Merry Christmas die why when you could buy this for a tenner and then have that as well so it just gives you more ability out of the same one in front of that we have the same die again so that's our six by six reindeer in the woods and this time i've cut it out of white cardstock and then i've gilding polished it um the metallic gilding polishes i don't know if you've seen these before i keep ranting and raving about these I've used three different colours. We've got the copper, the green, and the red for this one. I've gone all over it in the copper, and then I've just used a paintbrush and painted in the holly and the berries with the green and the red. If you haven't seen these products in use, the, the metallic gilding polishes, I urge you to go and watch our introduction to metallic gilding polish. It's one of the best products I think we've come across all year. Uh, it's even how I've coloured the cardstock in the background here. That was just a flat white piece of card. It's an incredible product, one we're stocking currently in about 20 different colours and um, I'm just obsessed with it if I'm being honest. Every card I make I try and sneak it in somewhere. I even used it to cover over the white card on this. It's hidden in all sorts of different bits and bobs throughout today's cards and it sort of has infiltrated my life and just sort of taken over if I'm being honest. I've also used, which is quite a nice different way to use them as well, where I've done the snow in here and I've used the silver dream for that. I've also used that nice glitter over the top of it. So again, it gives you a pearlescent glittery sparkle, which is a bit of a different way than I've used them before. So yeah, really lovely product to work with. And great if you've got them already used to be used with these dies as well. You can really use the two together quite nicely. Moving on, we have our small Santa and sleigh set. Don't forget the small ones are just because of that bit small. The die is still the same size. And on this one, we've got our really nice big houses and church hidden away at the end here. I've just put a piece of acetate behind my die cut and then I've coloured in the windows using a Sharpie just to give it a little bit of colour so it looks like the lights are on and uh, added a little gem for Rudolph's nose, of course. We can't have Rudolph without a red nose, can we? And then behind it, I've just added a bit of a 12 by 12 sky paper. A really simple card, really, really quick and simple, just to show you one of the ways in which you could use that die if you wanted to. It's also worth noting that the sleigh and reindeers that get cut out, again, are really delicate and could be used as a die on its own. Again, we do a very similar one of these as a die on its own for 6 49 so it shows you once more what good value this is for just 9 99 to be getting the rest of the die and the ability to use the, all of that village scene as well. And of course with these little houses and churches, once Christmas is over, why not cut them out and use them as dolls houses on kids cards or wedding cards for the church, different bits like that. Think beyond Christmas, think beyond a creator card die. Look at the individual elements on these and think of how different ways you could be using them. Because I think you'll be quite surprised just how many times you're going to return to these, pick them up and find a different use for them. With that in mind, I wanted to show you another one using the same die set. And this is showing you how easy you can cut these houses out. So I've just cut them out this time and layered them on top of the other ones. Now, as I often say, I often make mistakes. And uh, this card is a great way of showing you this. I forgot to let my white glitter dry before I went and put my gold glitter on. So I've got a bit of cross-contamination here. So um, as I often say, I really do make quite a lot of mistakes in the average day. That was one of them. But hopefully you still get the idea of how beautiful this dye is. And um, I'm sure you wouldn't be as daft as me and make silly mistakes like that. But the copper glitter, if you can't see it, is hidden up here in the moon. I've also put it behind the lampposts just so it looks like the lights are on. And I've even put some on the top of the star as well. And then down here, this is a good one. If you haven't yet watched our top tip 
on peel off dusting, which is another video you can find on our YouTube channel. This is that in action. So these are just ordinary poinsettia peel offs and I've used our glitter over the top of them to make these really lovely flowers. So if you haven't watched that video, please do pop along and watch it because it will show you how to do it. But it's a really easy way to make quite stunning flowers and a good way to use up peel offs if you're not a fan of them, but you've got a few lurking about. Moving on, we will bring you over to this side where I can show you a few more dyes. So this one is our Merry Christmas one. I'll start off with showing you this one because you can see it in the, the complete. And this again is a really, really simple one. Just cut out of silver mirror board, backed onto black card, then a bit more silver and a white card blank with matching poinsettia dies put around it. Really, really quick and easy to do, but hopefully quite elegant. So um, certainly a few people I could think of sending that one to that I wouldn't mind the fact it hasn't taken me long to do, but it looks like I've put a lot of effort into it. This is again where I said about cutting out the pieces in the middle. So this one I've cut out my Merry Christmas for this card to reveal the oval on its own, so I could use that as a feature to something else. So in this one I've popped in it my Reindeer in the Forest die. That's off the 649 set. So again, a really nice way to use that. The actual die cut itself, I've done the same as the one we chatted about a moment ago. Cut it out of white card, I've then gone over the top of it with a copper gilding polish. And then I've painted in with the green and the red one just over the top of it. I would have liked to add a bit of glitter to it as well to be honest, but I just didn't really have that much time. But you certainly could dress any of these up with glitter if you wanted to. Moving on to our next eye. Now this is our really delicate snowflake one. And I wanted to show you this. This is really just so you can see how beautiful it is. It's a really simple uh, card I've made. But I wanted you to see how gorgeous this cut work is. And just how much detail is in that. For £9.99 it's just incredible the amount of work they've put into for these dies. Just so we can bring them to you at such a silly price. It, it's silly. But that, for you, brilliant. Get your hands on this while you can. They're going to go quickly. And that's our 6 by 6 snowflake. Just cut out of gold card. Layered on some navy blue. And then matte and layered on a few different colours. With one of them bows we were chatting about earlier. Out of our tartan ribbon. Behind that, if you do want to put a little bit more work in. This one is one that's been done with pixie powders. Again, if you haven't seen Pixie Powders, we have an introduction to Pixie Powder video. So do have a look at that. But these are just three of the colours. We do about 10, 12 now, something like that. Quite a few. They just keep growing and growing in numbers. And what I've done is um, I've taken a piece of acetate. I've painted over the back of the acetate with PVA glue and stuck my die cut to it. I've then put Pixie Powder over the top of that and spritzed it with water. Let it dry. And this is the effect you get. The PVA glue will dry clear or see through, so you can then see your delicate die cut. And then also all of the pixie powders will dry in the gaps to give you a stained glass effect. If you're now scratching your head and thinking I've lost the plot, if you do go and watch the pixie powder video, that'll explain a little bit more about acetates and PVA glues and how you can use them with it. But if you are like me and you're slightly addicted to, P um, to the pixie powders, this is a really good way to use them. I hadn't done that before, but actually taking my cardboard cutout from my die and sticking it into the glue meant it created this stained glass effect and I've got it all done in one go. So quite a good way to use them. Hopefully you'll agree if you give it a go. Again, the same die, but I wanted to show you a different use and I thought this was quite an important one. Just because if you've cut out all this delicate work, doesn't mean you have to put it all on display. So with this one, I've covered up like the middle part, just using a piece of white card, obviously, and uh, foam padded it on. But to me, it looks like this is a really expensive frame die or a different die. I didn't really feel it looked as if it was the same one. And I thought, well, that's quite a nice way of getting more value for money out of your dies and showing you a different effect. And with that in mind, I've cut a piece of card to show you the same could be done with like a Merry Christmas one. If you don't want to use the Merry Christmas bit in the middle, if you black that part out, it again just looks like a really nice frame panel. And of course, you've got the flowers sneaking out there. But you could dress that up to look very similar to the one I'm showing you. So do think about that. If you don't necessarily want the text parts of them and you don't want to cut them out, cover it up. Give yourself a different effect. And that's all I've done with this one. In the middle of it, I've used my snow globe scene, which I must admit, I am quite impressed with. I quite like this. And again, 650, silly money. Uh, but we've got the snow globe, then we've got the mountain die, the little village scene, 
and a big village scene all layered together and I still had other dies I could have used with it so I really think that's one that I'm going to have to keep or steal but yeah definitely a lovely die to work with. Moving on we have a large reindeer and sleigh die. Now this is what I was on about earlier about being a credit card die and it cutting into the card. So what that means is this is an A4 sheet of card that I've um, just cut my die into and as I tried to explain earlier the cut lines are just around the edges here there's no outside border to it so it literally means that this is all stayed in the card and this was just an A4 sheet of card still complete just with these window pieces cut out in it. Behind that, just because I wanted to give it a bit more strength, I've added a piece of acetate. But of course, you could put in different colour cards, parchments, or if you've got like the glittery style acetate, you could do something like that as well. There really is no end to what you could do with it. On mine, I've just put um, a piece of night sky behind it to give you that effect. But it's just a really simple card to show you just how lovely that one is to work with. And how I quite liked it in the black as well, give you that sort of night sky silhouette effect. I've also done this to show you that again, you can save a bit of money here and you can just snip off our sleigh and reindeers. So again, just by taking a pair of scissors or a knife, you can cut your sleigh off. You can even cut off Rudolph's leg, just cut round the cloud on the side here. Rudolph won't mind at all and his leg still matches in with all of the others and it gives you another die to work with. To be honest, if we had this die on its own, I wouldn't expect it to be far off 9.99 on its own. So to think you've got the ability of using it with the rest of the scene in this large format die for just 9.99, it really is a good die to get hold of while you can. I also wanted to show you with this one how you could use different dies together. So I wanted to use my large slam reindeer die and my small slam reindeer die. This is becoming a bit of a mouthful, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I've tried to use them both together on this one. So what I've done is I've cut the top of this one, so the top of the large one, cut off the village scene, which of course you could still use for your next project. I've done the same with this one, keeping the bottom and getting rid of the top, which again I could still use. And then I've just joined them together in my frame to create this effect. Now in this, I would expect that I was gonna put a little candle behind it, one of the little battery operated one. I've left it open at the back. I've just put some parchment in the window, just so if I had a couple of little candles, it could light up and give me that sort of night glow effect. But of course you could forget that and turn it into a box lid if you wanted to. Or what I really wanted to do, if I'm being honest, but just didn't have time, was turn it into the middle of an advent calendar and build lots of little boxes and drawers to go all the way around it. Uh, obviously in time for our advent season but um, time just didn't help on that one today but you certainly could if you've got a little bit more time than I have you could certainly do that and you could still keep the candle bit in the middle if you wanted to what a lovely middle to an advent calendar that would create of course you could do that with a lot of the creator card dies today but it is just quite nice to have a bigger format die by using these two together and it just shows you how you can cut them about if you want to so let's have a quick run through our 10 different dies again before I leave you in peace. We are going to look first of all at a 6x6 large snowflake. Don't forget these are only 9 99 So you've got your 6x6 large snowflake. We then have our reindeer in the woods. Our small sleigh and reindeer set. Our large sleigh and reindeer set. Our happy Christmas and our merry Christmas. And all of them are just 9 99 each. We then have our four smaller intricate dies, which were $12.99 reduced to $6.49. And then there we have our snow globe set, our Christmas tree set, our snowflake set, and our reindeer and stag set. Now I really expect these are gonna go very quickly because at this price, you'd be silly not to get your hands on them. With that in mind, our offer does go on for a week, but I would be very surprised if any of these are still in stock without, uh, in a couple of days, let alone by the end of the week. The offer actually ends at 5pm on Saturday the 11th of November, but I'd hate you to miss out. So if you do want them, you can order them online. Obviously, uh, we have our own website. You can pop on there and you can order them. We now even ship abroad as well. So postage and packing, um, we do have an offer. If you spend over £35, you receive free PMP within the UK. If your order is under £35, it's just £2.75. But if you are one of the many people watching us abroad, 
then you'd like to receive these dyes, just send us a message either on our website or you can Facebook us or you can send it to us on YouTube and give us a few details about where you are, your address and that and we will get you a postage quote. Our offer sadly obviously doesn't cover worldwide shipping but we'll certainly do our best to keep it as cheap as possible for you. And that applies to all of our previous videos as well. It is a new service we've been offering because we know just how many of you have been getting in contact, especially America. So hello America, thank you for watching. Um, but if you do want to get them from abroad, don't worry, we can certainly do that for you. Uh, obviously, if you wish to collect them in stores, we have two stores, one in Great Yarmouth, one in Lowestoft. If you just pop in the comments, either on YouTube or Facebook, the store you'd like to collect from, we can have them held for you up until 5 p.m. on Saturday the 11th of November. If you've enjoyed looking at these cards and you want to see them in more detail, you can either see them on our website, or if you do wish to save them, you can do it on Pinterest. They'll all be on our Pinterest page. Pop on there and then you can actually pin them so you can go back to them at a later date. If you are watching us on YouTube, thank you very much. Um, we now have 150 subscribers. This number just keeps creeping up week by week and it's really lovely of you all to keep hitting the subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. We really appreciate it when you do. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I look forward to seeing you all next Sunday when we have another Sunday showcase for you. Bye for now.